I knew the horse was healthy, I don't use it on the side. Because I believe when a horse spins properly and they round up under their belly, that actually allows those shoulders to come underneath them more, which clears the way. So when I use a spur, I come underneath the belly and I pick up. And that also will get that horse to kind of drop that head down a little bit and roll those shoulders up. And after they learn that, that makes those nice flat round turnaround and it keeps those front legs tucked underneath them. So I use a little outside leg, but I turn my chub out and just use that spur. I press up under the belly a little bit. And I don't leave the spur on while I'm spinning. I'll ask first with my hand, always with your hand first. And then I'll use a little leg, I'll roll it up and I'll take it off. And if I need it, I'll roll it up again, I'll take it off, I'll roll it up again. And that horse, shoot, I don't want to see it jump because I've never heard it. So there's no reason it should jump from my leg if you need your own work properly when you apply that leg. There's no jumping, there's no scare. Questions? Make the center of the pen and count your turnaround and stuff. You're not allowed to increase your speed. 
so you're out of that penalty box pretty consistently. Green readers should be in the 66, 67, 68 category. When you're out of the green, you go up into the rookie. Rookie, 68, 69, 70-ish as towards the end of the year. If you're trying to do any more than that, you're trying to do too much. And I believe that. I don't, I don't even like to hear what people say with their scores. I want to know what they're doing in there, and I want you to learn to do it correctly before you learn to do it fast. So Karen's going to spin four times to the left. Starting with her hand, and her outside leg rolls up. Nice and easy. One. Two, three, four, five. She's off pattern. She didn't get zero. Okay. <laughs> but see, we, we did it slow, but it's consistent. Now, what I would have changed a little bit with what Karen did, she's got the wrong range, so it's a little bit different. But when I spin one, I don't like to sit back so much. I believe that that horse has enough pressure and strain on his hocks. And I kind of, when I turn my horses around, come forward, just with my shoulders a little bit. And I don't stand in a half seat, but I sort of get up off that back end a little bit. And that's when you can start getting your speed. If you're coming back here as they're spinning, your body weight's going to start to pull them back on their hocks a lot until that head comes up and those shoulders are well in front of them. You can kind of see. But I'm talking about pleasant. You get going a lot of times when these things start spinning. They'll, they'll pull you to the inside, but that momentum will pull you down the inside. That's right. It's really important for you to keep that weight on the outside a little bit. Go ahead and do it again, Karen. And just kind of pull your shoulders forward a little bit more. She started perfect. Good. There you go. She just plays her forward there, just like that. Just like that. Just like that. And see that one move forward a little bit more for it. Good job. And like with those normal reins, that is a little different style too. So you will. That California style, you will get her a little bit back on her hocks more. Um, but there, she kind of extended her arms, she rolled her shoulders forward. And then JJ, you can see more way. Now that was a half point shut off. Did you see that? She didn't show up right on the judge. It was a half point. Any questions so far about the turn? Nope. Go ahead. Because it 
And actually, when they stretch your neck down, it feels good. So they're not going to do that. Any other questions about the turnaround or the circle or any penalties above? Okay. I know I'm just backwards, right? Penalties on the circle, when you're out of lane for every quarter of the pie, think of it as a pie, for every quarter you're out of lane is a point. Okay? Anytime you break gate in a rating pattern, anytime it's two points. We have some pamphlets over there that explain it. So when you're here watching the rating and they're scoring it, you can watch the runs and you can kind of score a little bit on your, with yourself. Everybody <coughs> walks in the pen with a 70, and then you either increase or decrease most of the time from that. So it just depends where your penalties are. Okay, we did the circle, we did the turnaround. The next thing we'll talk about is, I think we should do a lead change. Um, that lead change can get lengthy in discussion, but basically I'll go through what it looks like, what we do with it. Um, again, when I'm teaching a horse to change leads, I don't ask them to change leads until they can move their hip like we were doing. If you notice, all the new members we're doing are going back to the basics that I started with. So let's see, I'll change this mare from right to left. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lope her on a counter canter around to the right. And then when I'm ready, I'm going to go ahead now. I'm can cantering on the right lead. I'm going to have my left leg back and my right leg forward. Everybody understands that? And then when I'm going to change, I'm simply going to slide my seat over, pull my opposite leg back, and put my other leg forward. And if I've done my homework, my mare should move her head over. Now, I'm going to be doing it really slow, and she might miss it, but she's very good lead and looking the best we can. I'm going to try to talk my way through it. Any questions or this, you've got to ask me, because it gets a little bit lengthy, because there's not a lot of horses that are designated, and it takes a while to teach them without scaring them. I'm going to start with my counter canter. <coughs> Okay, I have my left leg back, my right leg's forward, my mare's soft in the bridle. When I feel she's ready, switch over, open my new leg, and move my outside leg back. Everybody see that? Very simple. I make it look simple, that's a two-year progress, so, you know, don't think it's going to happen soon. And if you've got a horse that's not good leading, take your time. They can all be taught to change leads. I don't, I wouldn't necessarily recommend a bad leading horse for a rating horse, and there are some horses that just simply are not very good leading. Basically, it comes with confirmation. Or some of them were scared when they were younger when someone was trying to teach them to change leads, and then you kind of get like an alley in there, and it's will be sort of in your brain, and that takes a little bit of rehab. But basically, it's the body position, pushing through their hips, standing up with their shoulders, and using your legs properly. Um, Richard, can you do a figure eight for me? Um, but just one, do a couple circles and then change the lead in the center. Richard's going to show you a lead change in the center of the pen. He's going to walk some circles to the left, and then he'll change in the center. And what I wanted to show you is, to get through the center of the pen, you, you're supposed to change in the box, in the center. He's coming through the center, and he's just getting his horse ready to do a nice circle and find out where he wants to make his change. That horse is guiding very nicely. He's nice and flat. He's happy. His ears are up. Richard's done an excellent job with him. Coming through the center, nice and sweet. Very sweet. Very, very nice. Got his lead change. He was a little outside the box with the front end. The back end was right inside the box. I wasn't very nice to Richard and told him to do it in three seconds, but he did a real good job of it. But did you see how Richard was guiding very willingly? Then he came to the center and Richard kind of just slid his seat over, put a leg on, opened his new leg, and went across. All right? And that's what it would look like in the raining pattern. That's the spot we do it in the middle of the bed. And that's why it's so important when you're running your circles to get comfortable with your circle and get comfortable with the center. Questions on the lead change for the showing part? Anybody? Again, if he would drive the lead any time in the lead, in the circle, that he drives 